yo yo people who are going welcome back to runs tech hub and as you can see today i have the zim apex here that's just a normal zim apex i've got the usb hub for the zim apex here this is the b loader just a normal b loader and here we have the b loader pro which again the b loader pro was sent to me by the guys over at b loader i've done a few videos on it already and i'm going to try and do as many videos as i can to help as many people as i can so I'm going to put this to one side for now, along with the USB cables, because those only come with the B-Loader Pro. So people have been asking me, how do I actually connect my B-Loader, my Zim Apex to my PS5? Quite simply, B-Loader first. Then you have your Zim Apex on not the USB hub, but the Zim Apex itself. Plug in. And then from there, you have your USB hub. Now, the way this works, you plug the B loader directly into the PS5, not the Zim Apex. So B loader into the PS5. And obviously, if you guys know how this works, we have mouse, keyboard and controller into the Zim Apex USB hub. Now, the issue with this, the issue that many people have come across, I came across it a few times where it randomly shuts down. So for the people who've been asking me how to fix this, you have to get another hub to power the B loader itself and then you plug other stuff into it. So it's, it's, it's a very tricky situation. So the way I have gone about it is just to actually get a B loader pro. So for people who have not bought a B loader as of yet, a B loader pro is the way you want to go because that has better power delivery, which I'm going to explain in a bit. So the B loader uses USB 2 and that USB 2 doesn't actually offer as much power as many people might need. For example, USB 2 has to, well, the B loader, which uses USB 2 has to power the Zim Apex, which has to also then power the USB hub, which has to also power the mouse keyboard and potentially the controller as well from that one single um, point which is here not the best for many people and that's why some people have been getting restarts um, the wi-fi dropping out as well is another issue for the original b loader the way that the company has addressed this they've actually gone ahead and um, they've created the b loader pro the power delivery on here is much better let me just push this to one side what they do give you is they give you two usb c cables and both of these are used to power the b loader pro so let me bring my Zim Apex back in. And the way this works is just as before, you plug your B loader and your Zim Apex into each other. So simply plug in like this, right? And then this goes into your console. The B loader Pro goes into your console. Yes, you have your Ethernet port, which you can plug in directly. This isn't very convenient for me. Uh, my latency over Wi Fi is pretty good, so I don't really have an issue with that. But if you wanted to get the maximum possible performance from this, you would want to go Ethernet port um, directly into your modem or router. And here we have our two USB ports. And what this does, you power the B loader properly with this. So whatever power needs to be drawn from the B loader. So, for example, I've still got my Zim Apex here. I've got my USB hub here. I've got my, let's just say I have my mouse, keyboard and my controller plugged in. Having two 5 volt, I'm guessing 5 volt um, some amount of amps, I don't know how much amps this actually is, going into the B loader, then going out through the Zim Apex and the USB hub, this should power any mouse, keyboard and controller that you have, because those devices actually don't use a lot, but it was a lot for the B loader, the original one, because again, this was a single 5 volt supply, which for many of these, these electronics is okay, but when you combine them, they use more than um, the B loader could power. So again, that's how you connect your B loader and your B loader pro to your PS5. So because I've got two USB cables here, it doesn't really matter which one I use. They're both USB-C, so you can use them interchangeably. And on the B loader pro here, I've got one on this side here and I've got one at the back. So I would just plug into both of them. It would be nice if they just had a single USB three that could power the entire device. I'm not sure why they didn't do that, but this is an okay solution for now. I think whatever device they do in the future, it should just be USB 3, USB C connector, of course, and giving the single device more power. Obviously, they need to watch the resistance to make sure things don't burn out, but it's doable. It's doable. I know a few electronics people who could help out as well. So, guys over at B Loader, if you need help, let me know. I can reach out to a few of my people, and I'm sure they will be willing to help. 